I hate when motherfuckers just act like that, man. I hate when, when like, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm on some, let me bring the West Coast back. Yuck Mouth is one of them West Coast MCs like that I thought was underrated and could possibly be something one day, you know what I'm saying? Until I found out he was just straight fucking f He set me up, you know what I mean? A nigga set a nigga up on some shit, you feel me? I was trying to be a real nigga, you know what I mean? Out of everything, because it's deeper than me in the game. On some real shit. You know what I mean? It's deeper. It could be the Bay against LA. Game was on Change of Heart. Game had this. Game had. Game was on Change of Heart. So what? I was on Change of Heart with my bitch, nigga. With two bitches, nigga. My motherfucking pimp slash blow your motherfucking brains up. If you guys want to watch the uncut and uncensored version of the game versus Yuck Mouth, make sure you guys check out my Patreon. The bronze tier starts off as $5 a month, which gives you access to uncut and uncensored videos, and you get videos two days early. And the silver tier is $10 a month, which gives you all the benefits from the bronze tier, plus you get exclusive Patreon-only content coming soon. The link will be in the description. I want to give a shout out to all my patrons, Jody Bird, Sherrod Swafford, Hakeem Olajuwon, G Phantom, PJ Rollins, and Adam Miles. Thank you all for the support and enjoy the video. The year is 1992 and two rappers from Oakland, California named Yuckmouth and Numskull came together to form the duo called Loonies. After gaining some traction throughout the early 90s, they would land a deal with Virgin Records, No Tribe Records, and C-Note Records, in which they were the flagship act for C-Note. On July 4th, 1995, Looney dropped their debut studio album, Operation Stack Cola, which would go on to go platinum and featured their hit song, I Got Five, on it. They followed up on November 11th, 1997 with their second studio album, Lunatic Music. Around this time, Yuckmouth would sign a solo deal with J Prince's rap -Lot Records as he was gearing up to drop his debut album for the label. On February 23rd, 1998, Yuckmouth dropped his debut studio album, Thugged Out the Abulation. Two years later, Yuckmouth dropped his second studio album, Thug Lord The New Testament, on March 27th, 2001. During this time, a kid in Compton by the name of J.C. On Taylor was recovering in the hospital after being shot, where he would begin studying all the classic hip-hop albums and decided to pursue a rap career. He would begin dropping mixtapes on the streets with his brother, Big Face, under the stage name The Game. On November 16th, 2002, The Game dropped his debut mixtape, You Know What It Is, Volume 1. After that, he would gain major traction, landing a deal with independent label Get Low Records. Game's mixtape actually caught the attention of Puffy, who was on the verge of signing him to Bad Boy Records, but five months later, The Game would be discovered by none other than Dr. Dre, who listened to his mixtape. Dr. Dre contacted Game, and in 2003, The Game would officially sign to Aftermath. At this time, Death Row, Murder Inc., and rap -a -Lot were planning on starting a record distribution company. According to Yuckmouth, since he was affiliated with Murder Inc., he was called in by J Prince to help Ja Rule with his ongoing beef with 50 Cent, because they knew that 50 was the reason for Ja Rule's declining record sales. You know what I mean? Um, at the time, you know, J Prince talked about this deal. It was a big deal going down. Um, Death Row, you know what I mean? Uh, rap -a -Lot and, um, Murder Inc. was about to uh, come together and make uh, the first black distribution, you know what I mean, to, you know, to um, to, to just go against the, just, you know what I mean, just to be black owned, basically. Right. Not yeah, James talked about that. Um, yeah, but yeah, just to be, talked about that. Yeah, yeah. Just to be black owned, you know what I mean, and really give you what you're supposed to get, you know what I mean? So they was trying to create that. The powers that be didn't like that. So, um, <clears throat> in conclusion, with Rhymes, from 50 Cent, you know what I mean? And, and other beef that was going down with Ja Rule and 50 Cent. An investigation went down with rap -a -Lot, um, Death Row, and, um, and uh, Murder Inc. All these labels get hit at the same time. I'm talking about the feds. Now, I'm driving down Wilshire Boulevard when Death Row was down there, and I'm watching the whole shit get hit. Like, they went through the windows and all that shit. So everybody got hit, rap -a -Lot got hit and everything, but Jay Prince and Teflon done, they couldn't come with him with the bullshit. But uh, Irv and them was dealing with, you know, the Queens dudes. I ain't going to say no names back in the day. So that's how they was able to really lean on Irv with the cases. And shit. But other than that, everybody was feeling it. So, you know, you taking uh, uh, food, food off of my table. 
You know what I mean? I'm feeling it too. A proper life feeling it. We all feel it. You know what I mean? Period. In the pockets. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you take a, uh, take a money out of pockets and food out of our mouth. You know what I mean? Um, it, it was decided. You know what I mean? It was a mob meeting. And it was decided that, you know, rap a lot participate and help out John Rue with the 50 cent beat. So I was called upon, you know what I mean, to do it. Now, at this time, 50 cent just dropped, get rich or die trying. This is the hottest shit in the streets. I'm banging it. Me and my homies banging it. We like, yo, he changed the game. He brought it back. Gangsta hip hop, gangsta rap. We back. Woo, woo, woo. We turned up, man. I get that phone call. Hey. <laughs> like, who this? They call me Jay. That's how, you know, when you call me, they call me Jay. <laughs> okay, man. I know what time it is. It's a three, four o'clock in the morning call. You know, that's Jay a vampire. So he called me like at four in the morning, like, yo, you know what I mean? This got to go down. And, um, you know, no disrespect. I ain't going to even say the rappers don't rap a lot who bow down. But there's a few rappers don't rap a lot who tapped out, who didn't want to do it. You know what I mean? And um, it was me and Zero who stepped up the back. Like, fuck it. You know what I mean? We got loyalty. You know what I mean? Some of the big artists, I ain't going to say their names because I got love for these guys. But uh, the big artists tapped out. You know what I mean? They was making phone calls and apologizing and shit, all types of shit, man. So, you know, that's on them. On July 22nd, 2003, Yuck Mouth dropped his third studio album, Godzilla. And on the track, Thug Lords, featuring Sibo, they both went directly at 50 Cent. Boss, once you dead, then it's off with your head. Especially your bitch, that. Talk to the fans. Especially your bitch, that. Walk with the fans. To avoid shows, because they're about to toss them some lead. That same year, the game would officially become a member of G-Unit. Yuck Mal dropped his mixtape, United Ghettos of America, Volume 2, a couple of weeks later. And on the track, Stunt 211, Yuck Mouth, Bangum Smurf, and Domination, which were 50's former friends from his hood, all went at 50 Cent on this track. The next year, on March 30th, 2004, Yuck Mouth and Sibo dropped their debut collaboration album, in Thugs We Trust, as the duo called Thug Lords. On this album, there's a track called He Ain't a Thug, where Yuck Mouth once again linked up with Bangum Smurf and Domination to diss 50 Cent. I got shot nine times. I got beat up at the club. I got my spinning piece cut. Separate the snitches from the mobsters who run these streets. Regime elite 50. Bigger f that bicker and beef. But they're holding your chest the size of that spinning piece. On June 22nd, 2004, Jada Kids dropped his second studio album, Kiss of Death, and Jada was having an album release party. Yuckmouth and the game were both at the event, and their tables were actually right next to each other. Yuckmouth went over to the game to dap him up, as he had mutual respect for game. Yuckmouth would then say he has beef with his homie, and he was referring to 50 Cent. Game said that the beef is between them, and he said that Yuckmouth gotta put it on for the West. They then dapped each other up, Hugged it out, and that was it. Just a couple days later, the game dropped a diss track called I Got a Mill on It, where game would take shots at Domination, Bangum Smurf, and of course, Yuck Mouth, while rapping over the beat for Looney's hit song I Got Five on It. No more bleaking buttons, I was hoping for silence. To the little sleeping beauty went and woke the giant. Slow from the Looney's won't beef, he lying. So I call E40 and try to cease the violence. I got on the island for putting in stainless work with Vaseline on their palms getting ready to bank a smurf. I hear scream in the comp and sound like my you would never with G and quit fun for domination be Lisa Leslie a big woman with a nine on the back. I'ma catch that bitch running shut a 40 in his throat. Now spit something and get lost boy go visit your big cousin. I got fish to fry throw a line in the Pacific with cocaine on the hook for this loony ass you a how you call yourself the ice cream man when Master P took your name and your ice cream van? <laughs> Made 500 million, that's your homie though. Took your manhood, gave the shit to Lil Romeo. This nigga five foot two, talking that big shit. You got five on it, that money went to Chris Hicks. Bro. Trying to this too short for doing this pimp shit. Nigga, you been getting fucked, swallowing big dicks. Pac knew he was a pussy, that's why he ran south. Signed the rap a lot, they never put his. Out. Here behind Lil J, all of a sudden you thugged out Ran back to the base, sleeping on one and because couch How you drop five albums, don't own one house So get the balls to call me Banks and fuck out It's G, let me show you what blood about When my blood pressure rise, I bring the blood 
out, put the barrel on his neck, blow his guts out. Now that's what you call a yuck mouth. Yuck Mouth was confused as to why Game dissed them when they just saw each other in the club and were cool. So Yuck Mouth came to the conclusion that 50 Cent actually gave Game the green light to go at him because Game was a part of G-Unit. About 45 minutes after hearing the track, Yuck Mouth recorded and posted his response to this track on the game called Game Over Part 1 to AllHipHop.com where Yuck Mouth would clown Game for being on Change of Heart. Should've never f with Yuck. <laughs> You hit game, you can never f with yuck, you what? Keep them gas clap into a nigga like Ian G you You know the game's about the end race We back up in the end You can run with Come on or run with killers and win You ain't a thug, you a f ass tongue ring mush face That won't talk that in front of shook face You ain't a Compton MOB mobbed out How you got a million when you living at your mom's house On the Interscope DVD at your mom's house See me on my DVD drop coupe rock rap talk Faking the Eminem or watch out Come down south to get knocked out, popped out Watch out, make strategic movements Stay Prince already ran a G unit out of Houston Y'all it's music, I peep the blueprint Shook Knight slapped that nigga, he didn't do shit Got slapped two different times, he didn't do shit Disrespect the easy tattoo, you ain't ruthless Drop the album with JT that didn't do sh** Now he missed the hard body since he with the unit Wanna be my ass and prove it What you gon' do, sucker punch me and run The D-Mac for the gun, I don't play that I put you in the corner with n****s Praying for you, you ain't easy, son Get off his dick while your lips fill with easy e How this from the slums, man, he got an earring in his tongue How I'm getting f drop bins, big spokes After that, the game would appear on interviews dissing Yuckmouth, saying that Yuckmouth actually bows down to him. So Yuckmouth got wind of this and dropped another diss track on the game called Game Over Part 2. In the music video, there's a game lookalike wearing pink shoes, a pink G-Unit shirt, and a pink bandana getting beaten up by Yuckmouth and his homies. Now, unfortunately, I could not show the music video because YouTube is so soft that they limit ads, which completely ruins the push of my video, resulting in no one seeing it because I have a game lookalike getting fake beat up on a skit. But here's the song, nonetheless. Round two. I won the first round, nigga. Go back to the drawing board. Nigga. I'm built for this, baby. Oh yeah, and thanks for the promotion on the radio station. I love that. Nigga. Yeah, I mean, quit saying my name. Keep saying my name, baby. Keep blowing me up, nigga. and I'ma cut your and throw you. The game play games, yeah. you a yeah. line ass fucking game, bitch. Yeah, yeah. I crack your back when I'm blasting it, yeah. Your lungs collapse like an asthma attack. I'll make it hard to wrap your backbone is deep, Mac and your brother. You still got clap, lay on your back and try to breathe. Ain't from the hood, your first album went good, and every week you get slapped by shoes. Come to the bay, man, them texts don't spray. It's like you're boxed in with pepper spray. Got no 
your money, you You at your mama house, you punk You Tom Green Queen You can't with me, man Stay off the internet, you computer stuff You don't want it You don't want water It's your butt murdered you And y'all gon' dead your ass I'ma whack your you already know how we rock, nigga. You just got your first tattoo two years ago. When JT found you, you were trying to be a GQ model. You thought you was the next LL. Remember? Remember you were saying that you be real. After this, one of Game's homies named Speedy wanted to end the beef with the game and Yuckmouth, so we got the two of them to record a Squash the Beef track called Peace. Yuckmouth was in Detroit, so he decided to record his verse separately from the game. And on his verse, he actually gasses up the game, saying that they're bringing the West back. What's beef? Wow. Beef is for real to squash it and come through in twin SL coops that's topless. Yuck got the Baylock, game got Compton. Detox like Doc Dre and Puff Crying. And all that West Coast beef shit. It's nonsense, shake hands, be friends, get on the project Let's make some ends, cause money is the object Hey, just can't stop it, everybody gon' profit Speedy stop the beef, cause shit could get ugly Down the west side, connected like Cuban dub Z Blood and cuss, I'ma make you love me We gon' bring the west coast back, my nigga, trust me On March 15th, 2005, Speedy dropped his album, Flight Risk and on this album was the track, Peace with the Game and Yuck Mouth But there was a huge surprise on this song on Game's verse, he actually disses Yuck Mouth instead of squashing the beef. This ain't about bleak or buttons. I don't squash beef for nothing. I squash the beef for Speedy, my homeboy cousin. It ain't about bleak. It ain't about Crips. It's about guns. All right, Yuck Mouth. You don't even know me, but You got blue chucks on. Come show me, cuz. I know from your hood. You claim you never bang. And after that lynch mob deal, nigga. Forgot your name, your life is a cartoon, you muppet baby. Ice cubes in my chain, so you love to hate me. Back to yuck mouth, we cool for now. You can come outside, ain't nobody gonna shoot you down. Go ahead and live your life, won't be no gunplay. I see you in the streets, you're gonna have to fight me one day. After that, yuck mouth called out the entirety of G Unit as he was pissed that game dissed him on his verse. A couple of weeks later, the regime dropped their mixtape All Out War Volume 1. And on the track All Out War, Yuck Mouth goes at game and G Unit. And I ain't squashing the game, be so fuck the rumors. Until he dead and deceased, I'm pushing up a tunis. A lot of niggas choose his eyes, who to ride for. But in the end, must decide who they gon' die for. In 2005, Spider Loke joined G Unit, so they had a plan to line up Yuck Mouth. Someone had Yuck Mouth come to a Beverly Hills party with no goons, no weapons, by himself. Yuck Mouth came to the club when Spider Loke showed up with about five goons with them. They confronted Yuck Mouth. Asking him what his beef is with G Unit and 50 Cent. Yuck Mouth was drunk when Spider Look brought him into a quiet room to talk when his goons followed, where they would jump Yuck Mouth and take his jewelry. After that, Yuck Mouth and Spider Look actually squashed the beef after contacting someone from Spider Look's hood, and he actually got some of his jewelry back. After that, Yuck Mouth dropped another track called Wartime, dissing the game. After this, Yuck Mouth's homie Chuck, who was also cool with the game, wanted them to actually squash their beef for real this time, being that game wasn't even a part of G-Unit anymore. So we got them both in the same room where they would actually squash the beef once and for all. On April 11th, 2006, Yuck Mouth dropped his mixtape The Center of Attention, which he has a song with the game called I Gotcha. Game then dropped his mixtape The Face of LA, which had a track called Across the Coast, featuring Eric Sermon, Fatal, Stat Quo, and of course, Yuck Mouth. After that, nothing else happened and this beef was completely resolved. This beef gave us some great diss tracks. Leave it in the comments who you think won this beef. The Game or Yuck Mouth?